Thank you everyone for joining today in our webinar here, our live webinar, Lightspeed Trader 101, Intro to the Platform. We really just want to give a brief overview of the software and, and go over some of the settings and features and show you how Lightspeed Trader platform is an advanced platform used by active traders and frequent traders and, and really can give you some benefits to using a, a direct access platform that's very customizable and provides you with a lot of additional features. Before we get started, I just have to do a, a brief disclosure here. Uh, please note this is for informational and educational purposes only. This content is neither or nor should be construed as any offer, solicitation, or recommendation to buy or sell any securities. Any investment decisions made by the user through the use of such content is solely based on the user's independent analysis, taking into consideration your financial circumstances, investment objectives, and risk tolerance. We do not... Uh, provide any type of investment advice, solicitation, guidance. So uh, just please note this is for educational purposes. Any trades or demonstrations, simulated trades are purely such and would not be construed as any type of advice. Feel free to answer some questions, ask some questions as we go. I'll try to answer them if they relate to the actual topic. If not, I'll save some time at the end. And we certainly will post this webinar to our website like we have some other ones as well here. And also note, uh, we are joined by Dan from Traders Log. Uh, we have a nice relationship with Traders Log, kind of a cross sponsorship. So guys, feel free to check out traderslog.com. There's a lot of news and information and info on here that you really want to check out. A lot of articles, you know, a lot of day trading blogs and, and, and really some information that's going to give you, you know, a lot of different uh, analysis and ideas of, of what people are thinking, how the markets are moving, a lot of different info out there, including other webinars and, and other market news. So definitely feel free to check out Traders Log. We're happy to, uh, you know, be a sponsor there and uh, we have a nice relationship. So we're happy uh, to have that going. Just wanted to mention that. Okay. So uh, we will get started here. Now, can everyone see my screen okay? You can see the Lightspeed Trader software. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm, today's just going to be a brief overview. I'm, I want to just give you some of the basics as far as setting up some of the pages, the order entry, how to change some of the configurations. And then if you guys have some questions, we'll go from there. This is a basic layout that you have for the Lightspeed Trader platform. You know, it's very simple. The platform can be very basic if you like it. And of course, there's a lot of features that you can add on to make it more complex and more advanced. But the, the basic window here on the lower left, you can see is the level two quote window that gives you the bid and offer for each market participant, the number of shares, the participant, and then the price. You can see side by side the bids and offers, including the time and sales flowing on the right side. So that just gives you an indication for each stock, uh, how many orders there are, people are buyers and sellers, what price they're willing to go, and, and that's the basis of a level two window. This window is very customizable. You can change your colors and your setup and everything in that manner. If I want to change the color of my level two or how it looks, I can easily do so. A lot of people like to tier different colors for different price points, and that's really up to you. You can also add info on your level one screen as well. If I want to I'm sorry, if I want to go to my settings here. Oh, everything's based off of right-click menus, go to settings. I could go to my design, and there's a lot of different data fields I could add. So the top portion, if I want to add the additional info here. So what you have here is the change in volume. If I want to put possibly the primary exchange, if I want to show some net balance information, I could just click and drag these in there, and you can see I can have additional data applied here. Exchange ARCA, no no balance at this moment. So it's a lot of customizable data that you can use. 
Uh, same thing with the chart here. This will be the chart that corresponds with my level two quote window. You can see uh, it's the spider and you have your label on the top. This is a one minute bar and there's tabs on the bottom. I can flip between different time frames. I have a 90 day, a 52 week, and I could easily add additional charts, tabs here. If I want to change something to a five minute tab, I could click and add it. All I have to do is name it, five minute and add it. You can see a new tab is generated so I could quickly flip between a one minute bar and a five minute bar or I could simply open a new window and a new chart. If I right click, I could also go into the studies window. I can view all the different studies and indicators that I'm able to apply to the chart, whether if it's moving averages, whether if it's Bollinger Bands, pivot points, stochastics, MACD. So if I simply just click on the study, I have my parameters and I add it, you can see that easily applies it to the chart. Same thing if I want a simple moving average, 20 period, click add, that easily applies to the chart. So it's very easy to apply your studies. And there's other parameters as well. You can have different displays. You could have different background colors. And different displays. You can also enable your trading menu on here so I can show active orders or executed orders, canceled orders there. A VWAP study is not one of the indicators at the moment. It is something we're looking to add. Hotkeys would not be available to flip between symbols, but there's a lot of different hotkey functionality, so we would uh, cover that in a little bit as well. So on to the order entry form. You can see here, it's very simple. You have your symbol, your shares, so you just easily adjust. You have your price, your order destination, your market, and also your order type. So you can see the various order types available, limit, market, stop, stop limit, open on close, limit, market on close. So all, all these different order types are available. I simply have to choose the destination of my choice the shares, the price, and I could simply enter the order. Now this order will display in two places, on my messages window and also on my open orders or my orders window. So let's just go through an order here. If I press buy, you could see the order goes in here, or if it gets rejected, it's going to say in my messages window. I happen to select the LSPT route that's not available after hours. And I got a message telling me exactly that. Rejected, destination unavailable. I easily changed my market to the ARCA destination. And that order went in and now executed. You can see it changed from a pending white to a green status. Also in my quantity field, 100 out of 100 filled. Also in my messages window, opening 100 at 209 spot 75. So it indicates in two places that this order was filled. And then you could see now on my positions window, the actual 100 share position is displayed. My price, my average mark price is 209.75. And I can add different columns to my positions window to track P&L, to track my historical P&L and other information. So everything's generated from the right-click setting. I go to my settings. If I want to add a, additional info here, I certainly can. If I want to see if a stock is borrowable, I could add that to my positions window. If I want to see the last traded price, I can add that as well. So you can see my average price versus the last traded price. The cost basis is down $1, it's marked in red, and that's displayed on my top level window and also in my account summary. There's a marked P&L here as well. So it's very easy to track your position and track your P&L. If I want to close this position, I can adjust my order price. I press sell. You can see it's now an open order here, 100 at 0 out of 100. I can easily right click to cancel or modify the order. If I want to modify, I just select so. I could change the price, then select modify. I'll get a confirmation. Any order can have a confirmation, or you can take away your confirms. It really depends on the speed at which you wish to enter the order. So if I click yes, 
you can see the order at 89 cents was canceled and a new one at 85 cents was entered. Now, you can also see this on the chart. As I indicated, I selected to show my orders and executions. So you can see this red line is my open order, 0 out of 100. If I want to click and drag it, I can move this chart. And then you can see on the right side, the price will adjust as well. So if I want to move it down slightly, I get a confirm, yes. And that is a changed order now. So I could slide my orders down to adjust on the chart. And you can see I have a pivot point here where my other order was executed, then I could also easily just right click and cancel selected order. I could cancel the order from my orders window, or I could just easily select the X next to the order to cancel this as well. Now, the same thing with your positions window, it can be done with the watch list. You can easily just add additional data columns here as well. You just have to go to the change columns list. Anything here that is available can be applied as a data column. If I want to add my 52-week higher low, a volume percentage, if a stock is easy to borrow or not, I can add that. And all this data would be displayed easily on my watch list. So it's very easy to customize that as well. I can add or remove any symbol that I'd like. Simply by right clicking on the symbol, I could remove it. Or I can add additional symbols as well by just typing in and entering. Now once you are familiar with the basic order entry form, you know, you can get very fast with just your buy and sell and, and use your, your standard orders here. You know, that's very easy to do. Then you could start to do a lot of work with your hot buttons and hot keys. So there's a lot of different ways you can enter orders. Now these are set up as market orders, so they're not going to be executed right now, but you can just see how they work. You can see I have a SPY 500 shares, my order entry form, as a limit order. But you can see my hot button is showing as a market buy 100 shares. So any order that's designated as a hot button is gonna override my order entry form. So if I place that, you can see a 100 share market order was placed. So it, this did get rejected because it's set up for a specific route, but you can see how it overrides the SPY. So here is some ways that you can add hot buttons and hot orders and customize some of these hot buttons. I simply just have to go to the settings menu. It's the gear on any window. And I could either select any order that I have pre-configured. We have a lot of orders that are already pre-configured. So I can do an ARCA offer tier, for example. I'm going to add that. Click OK. That adds another order here. I simply have to click that and you can see that changed my order form to selling 100 at the offer here. If I want to add another order, ARCA sell tier, that will, instead of just queuing up an order in my order form, that's going to uh, send an actual order here. So show the difference here. I have 100 shares, ARCA sell tier. You can see instantly that sells the 100 shares at the offer. Actually, it sold it at the bid. You can see here, 209.77. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can customize these orders as well. So if I go to my custom orders, I could create a new custom order and create a new command. This allows me to buy or sell, select my market, bid or offer, plus or minus. So I could buy at the bid, I could buy a bid plus five cents, I could buy at the ask, I could be aggressive or I can be passive. I can have this as a closeout order or just a quantity order. So let's say 500 shares. And I'd want to name my order. So we'll say buy 500 ARCA 
bid. So that is now I just created my new order. I can map it as a keyboard order. So if I do shift five for 500 shares, I can map it or I can add it as another hot button. And now as your hot buttons, you can also color and customize as well. So you can see buy 500 bid here. So now you can see my order entry form, 100 shares. Even if I increase that way high, I click my buy 500 ARCA bid. That's the order that goes in, buying 500 shares at 209.81 at the bid. So it's a very fast way to configure a lot of different orders so you don't have to spend the time adjusting your order entry form. You could pre-configure these orders any share size, any order type, any configuration, and then that order just executed. There are ways to set different parameters for your closeouts. Now, there are pre-configured orders that we have. You have closeout 25%, 75%, or half. Close out only your longs, close out your shorts, close out long half, close out short half or 25 or 75 percent so these are all pre-configured you can close out all of your positions or just your shorts or just your longs or you can create your own custom orders to again do closeouts as well so if I wanted to do a sell ARCA for example we'll say we're selling at the bid and we want to do a closeout we can do your full position half position or quarter position so let's just choose half here. So we'll say sell half ARCA bid. Done. Okay, so I have 500 shares. Now I want to add here in my hot button my new order. Let's just make it a little easy to find. So I have sell half ARCA bid. That's going to sell 250 shares at the bid, 209.82. And if you see here, Exactly, that's what happened. Selling 250 shares, SPY at 209.82. So you can set up these orders for any pre-configured order or any order that you want to customize. There's a flatten option in a couple different ways. You can have your own customized closeout orders. So I have my closeout longs, closeout all, closeout half or you can do just the longs, just the shorts, or you could create your own. I can also have here, if I have more than one position, I can also click on my positions window and I get closeout options as well. So I could choose to close out just the spiders, half or 100%. Oh, I could close out all my positions, both both shares would go in here as well. But since you know market orders aren't accepted right now, the demo is not going to accept that order. But it's a very easy way. If you don't know what you want to do, you can just close out your orders um, simply by clicking the close out selections on your menu here as well. Um, so, you know, not just can you do hot buttons, as I was trying to show, the keyboard as well. So let's just say I wanted to say decrease, increase an in order by one penny. I could do a shift one here. Okay. So let's say I want to. Put a, a passive order out there, buying 100 shares. Now I, I do shift one, you could see that's going to replace it one penny higher. And then I don't need those confirms. I could easily just increase these orders simply by using my hotkeys as well. So the hotkeys on the keyboard can dictate any order just like a hot button. Some people like to use the keyboard and some people like to use the mouse or combination there's no right or wrong it's what's the fastest for you
Okay, uh, any questions so far here? I, I, so, I had a couple come in, so I just, uh, let me pause for a minute here. I don't mean to go so fast, but you know, certainly if you guys have specific orders you're looking for or need help, we're here for you. You can certainly schedule a one-on-one -on -one demonstration if you'd like, and, and we'd be happy to go over any of the settings for you as well. Okay, uh, everyone seems good. So let's just go on to some of the additional windows and features here. Yeah, this is a demo, so you know I have a, a large buying power set up here, but you can see, you know, it's purely simulation. So you can see here in the new menu, this is where I would open any additional window, including option order, option windows, option chains, and some additional scanners. I just want to go through uh, quick here, so you can see. We have some additional scans available, the risers and fallers window. You can view anything that's up or down on the day here. You can sort by uh, volume or what, what stocks are up or down. So if I click on Netflix, you can see that's down 3% here. I could also filter and go to the settings. I could show most actives. I could sort by certain or filter certain symbols. And you can see these are the most active stocks in the day, GDX, BAC, SPY. So that's a nice filter to, to view. And also have the light scan feature. Uh, contact us if you're interested in this. You just have to confirm some of your specs on your computer. This is going to filter a lot of symbols at one time. You can sort by volume. You can sort by net change, percentage change. So it's really it's a, it's an all-inclusive filter which you can uh, change some of your settings you can exclude certain price or volume or symbols so you can customize it to show your higher lows or to show any data columns as well that you're looking to customize if you're interested in things that have a certain change percentage you can add that column and then you could sort by it and see which symbols have the highest change percentage from the open, if that's what's going to be some of the tools you're looking for. You can have more than one light scan window open and sort by different one columns. Now, it does take some bandwidth, so you, you have to make sure that your computer can handle more than one window. Uh, they, they really, the specs just have to be, you know, semi-decent upload download speed and, and a pretty solid uh, RAM. So you certainly could just check with us on that and our tech department. So I, I'll just go over some of the option windows as well. You can view your option chain here. So you can see the spiders here showing the calls on the left, the puts on the right. The expiration is in the middle here in the strike price. So you can see uh, the bids and the ask for each contract. I could increase the amount of contracts or series I want to show for each. I can change the basis at which my strike price is based around. And also I could show all dates or near dates or select certain monthly or weekly contracts very easily. If I want to shift over to September, I can do so. If I right click, I can add this to a option level two window. So that would operate the same as a stock level two. I can right click to show my order ticket in the same manner. I can just select the contract, select my quantity, my price, order type. I click buy and I can uh, place an option order in the same manner. If I want to have two different contracts highlighted, I could right click option strategy to COE, which is the complex option entry. And that allows me to place spread orders. I'm buying one, selling one here. It tells me if it's a debit or credit. If I want to switch it, I can easily just switch it around so I can make it a credit. And I can adjust my price and my spread amount or change it to a market as well 
to just get it executed. So there's a lot of ways to place these option orders. If I just want to do one contract here, I can add this as a covered call. So you can see I'm buying 100 shares of the spider and selling one contract of the September 30. So in the same manner here, I'm selling one spy, buying 100. So it's a covered call strategy to execute the order. Sorry if I'm going a little fast, just let me know. I'll, I'll try to slow down here a little. So really, the, the option chain will dictate what contracts you're viewing. You can either enter them singularly in the level two window or multi-leg orders in the complex options order entry. Someone did mention uh, something about stop orders as well just for your stocks as well, you can enter stop orders. So all you would have to do is set your stop as your order entry. And you'd have to just adjust your quantity, you adjust your stop price, and then you would just uh, place the order. Now it is a demo, so it sometimes will simulate the order right away, but you can just get the idea how to place the orders. They do trigger correctly on your live system. You can create custom stop orders as well. You can do trailing stops. Trailing stops are only on a share amount, not on a percentage, so it's only going to be based on a trail amount itself. Someone asked how to place that midpoint between a bidder and the ask. There are certain order types available here. We do have a midpoint peg order that you can use for your orders. So I would just have to place that, and it goes in as a certain order type, peg mid. So if that's not configured, you can request that from our trade desk. You can also configure custom orders. as midpoint. If you're doing a custom route order, you can do a primary peg or a midpoint peg order through your custom route order. So there are other features available here for customs as well. A little bit more advanced, but certainly be happy to go over that with anyone who has questions here. Additionally, you can choose your stop order as your custom order. So I can choose either here a stop or a trailing stop. And I can dictate what order I want to trigger once my stop or trailing stop is met. So I have a closeout entire position. I can have an ARCA sell or ARCA sell market. Typically, you'd want to use a market order if you're going to do a closeout, but certainly that is no... Uh, given here that's you know up to you but if you were to do that I do a stop order using my Arca sell market closeout full and I'd click done so I have my new stop order now I can easily access the stop order now in my custom commands I place my so you can see it goes for the full order 250 shares or I can create a stop order here and then that will populate my order entry form with that command and enter the order. Now I can also convert these orders into order pop-ups. It's another way to enter orders. So this is something I like to use, but you know, certainly whatever works for you. So if I go to my settings for my hot buttons, if I want to change my arc a bit, I'm going to remove it but I'm going to change it to an order pop-up here. So buy, I'm going to add it, OK. I actually have to make it a pop-up here as well, my custom order. So I know I'm going a little fast, but I'm just trying to show you the different features, you know, 
Um, there's a lot to, to show, and I, I just want to make sure that you see what's available. Learning it, you know, will take some time, but just displaying what you can do is, is really the purpose here. So here's my new pop-up. You can see it's a separate order ticket that opens by 500 SPY 20972. Now I can use my keyboard to change the share size. So I could go from 100 to 1,000, or I could use my number pad to change the amount quickly, and I could change the price with my keys as well. I could increase or decrease my share size, and I simply have to hit enter, and that will place the order right away. So orders can be entered order entry through your hot button, through your hot keys, or they can be designated as order pop-ups. Some people like to wait until the exact moment to place these orders, but they like to generate it, queue it up, and I simply have to hit the enter, or I just hit escape if I want to cancel it out. So it's really going to be your choice of how you want to place the order. We do also have the block trade filter. This is going to show you where a lot of different larger share size and large trades are going to execute. It is after hours now, so there wouldn't be as much action on here, but you can see if a large spider trade or a large order goes off, it'll display in the block trade filter. I have my order imbalances window. It's going to show you anything for a buy or sell imbalance, a net imbalance. You could filter and scan here as well. So these are just a lot of different ways to scan the market, see what's moving, what's trading, what people are trading, and it just gives you an idea of uh, the general activity of the market. The stop orders cannot be pre-configured. You would have to adjust the stop price prior to entering a stop order each time. So I can do my stop as a pop-up as well, which I like to do as well. So I have here stop G Pro Arcusel market full, and I simply have to just adjust my stop price and then enter the order. The same would be with the trailing stop as well. Other useful windows would be if you are enabled, you could have the news window or the standard bundle will give you news and, and streaming headlines. Now I could set this for all news, or I can set it for only the news that involves the symbol I'm looking at. So right now it's G Pro. If I want to change it to Apple, that will give me any headline that has Apple in it. I just simply click on it, and I get uh, a quick headline here. And if I want to go deeper, I can always just copy and paste these. So it's, it's basic headlines, but it gives you a very good idea of what people are talking about, what articles are popping up, what news is coming out, or you can just view all news. So I can view any news that comes out here as well. So you can just open up new level two windows, you can open up new charts very easily, all from the new menu, the page layouts, can go across multiple windows, multiple monitors, and you could save different pages in your own layout, or you can just easily flip between pre-configured layouts here as well. And you see that keeps my positions here, or if I want to load a saved layout that I may have, I can do so. I have a hotkey layout. So you can see I have a whole setup with different hotkeys. 
So you can do that very easily. So it's really easy to flip through save layouts and to customize the software here. Or if I just want to add a new page, I, I could build it from scratch. If I want a level two, I want a chart. And I want my orders window. My positions window. And an order entry form, and I'm good to go. And you can customize it as you see fit. We do also have a list order entry window that will allow you to place multiple orders at one time. This is something you can be configured to as well. So if I want to place a basket of stocks here, I can do so uh, very easily. If I just want to change it to an opening, marking on open order, I could designate all my orders to either do different functions all the same. So uh, it's just another feature that is available. If I hit go, you can see it'll send out all, all these orders, but you know I do need to make sure all my order prices are configured. Now, in order to have Lightspeed Trader, you do need to have a $25,000 minimum deposit. This is required to have a pattern day trading account. So this is industry regulations for day trading accounts. $25,000 needs to be maintained at all times. You can maintain a lower account balance if you are a swing trader and you're not being designated as a pattern day trading account. We do have another alternative platform available for a lower requirement, but our Lightspeed Trader does require a $25,000 deposit as well. So in addition to the pattern day trading rules, our platform, our own platform requirement is $25,000 for this software. You can easily try a demo of our platform on the website. You simply just have to click on the upper right-hand corner. You can just provide your info real quick and select Lightspeed Trader or any of our other platforms. The software does have a monthly fee, but we do waive that if you generate commissions to waive the fee or partially waive it. It's a $100 monthly cost, but we do waive it with $100 in generated commissions or partially waive it with whatever you do generate. You can do various option strategies on a lower platform. They would have to be approved and you'd have to place them uh, independently. That We wouldn't offer multi-leg option orders on our web trader platform. You can view on our website our commissions here. Our standard rate here would either be 450 per trade or spot 0045 per share. Options would be 60 cents per contract. And you can qualify for our active trader tiers if you hit certain volume or trading requirements. If you surpass 250,000 shares a month, you can qualify for a lower rate. Options would be 60 cents per contract. and can also qualify for lower depending on your volume as well.
In addition to commissions, you do have to account for the routing fees as well, since we do offer the ability to route to different venues. There are fees for taking liquidity, but you can also qualify for add liquidity rebates as well, like ARCA or NASDAQ or BATS. You can qualify to receive a credit if you're adding liquidity. So there are some additional fees, but you can offset those with your credits and rebates as well. You can see it's easy to open an account. You just select the open account button on the top right here and just go through the, the quick online form here. You do have a, someone was asking about our trading requirements. You can see our standard would be 2.4 gigs, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, gigahertz, sorry, 4 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM operating system, um, download speed, 5 megs, at least 1 meg upload, but for maximum performance, the, it would be 10 megs and 1 meg upload speed, 4 gigs of RAM, so that, that's the optimal performance, but certainly most people can do it. Trading over Wi-Fi is not recommended. Someone had a question about the complex option order entry. So I'll go back to that real quick. So you can, you simply have to right click on more than one contract and you could add the strategy to your COE as a debit or credit spread. If I want to change that, I just would go to the setting here and I can flip it between a credit or debit very easily. So that would flip it between buying or selling or you can simply do it yourself here as well. Buy or sell. If I want to sell both, it knows that I want to do it as a long straddle. It'll change it as well. If I want to highlight three contracts, I can add that and it knows I want a long butterfly, so it's going to buy one, sell two of the middle strike, and then buy one of the higher strike as well. So the system will help you a little bit in setting up the right strategy. Um, if it's an iron condor, you would have to add, you can do up to four legs, so you would just have to put in your own strike and your own additional legs to configure that. So it, it is something that you would have to just configure yourself. You're able to buy or change the buy or sell on each of the contracts yourself as well. So you can configure it. It's not set up for every strategy, just kind of the basics, mostly two and three legs, but it can do up to four legs. You can have a setting to keep orders open if you log out. So you just would have to tell us to make sure that we have this feature. The automatic setting would be to cancel orders upon log off, but there is a setting that we can enable to keep orders live if you log off. So contact our service or trade desk to have that. So uh, any other questions here? I certainly encourage anyone who's not used the platform to really request a demo, try it out, and test out all the features and how you can customize and enter these orders. It's really good way to get started. Uh, my name is Rob Lifson. I'm one of the sales associates here at Lightspeed. Sorry, I forgot to uh, introduce myself in the beginning. I was so eager to get going here. You would have to do all rolling of option contracts yourself. You would have to close out and enter new contracts. It's not automatic. But feel free to
call me or email. You could email sales at lightspeed.com if you want to discuss opening a new account, if you want to discuss any of the additional features I just I went over. If you need any assistance, you know, we're here. We're happy to help. We do have a very friendly service staff and, and very accessible as well. If you pick up the phone, we answer, you email, we respond, not like some other places. So we are definitely here to try to help. You can request a demo from the website. It's a two-week trial. And, and definitely, you know, take advantage of that because it will help you get used to the software. It looks like a lot, but it can be learned very quickly and, and you could be ready, you know, to have a live account here. There is an additional charge for the books. So there's a book feature, additional depth of book. If I want to be enabled for every level, there's additional cost for NASDAQ, ARCA, or EDGE book, our standard data is $10 per month as best bid, best offer data. If you want depth of book, we do have it listed on the website. It could range from $15 to $10 for each exchange as an add-on. You know, we are trying to work on our charts and the software. It always is something that we're looking to improve. I don't have any specific updates or, or guidance on that, but you certainly can... Uh, know that we are trying to improve our charting and 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 remain you know up to date with what's out there. We certainly are putting efforts into that as well. So I hope that kind of gave you an understanding here of of just the basics and and of what the software can do. But certainly contact me, uh, sales at lightspeed.com, or, or just give a call in. It's option three on the, the main number here. And, and be happy to discuss opening a new account or applying any features for you. So you could call us, email us, contact here. Feel free. To let us know. I appreciate you guys for asking some questions and taking some time to uh, learn the software a little bit and hopefully you know this was uh, beneficial for you guys and uh, I'll try to have this posted on the website and you can review it later and, and just uh, look for some future recordings as well. So thanks guys very much. Have a great night and take care. Hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.